because we're rotten. <laughs> To the core. Is Descendants 5 in the works? Well, we have positive news regarding that question. We've got the scoop straight from the cast of Descendants The Rise of Red about a potential fifth movie. With a fourth movie now streaming on Disney+, Plus, we're thrilled to dive back into one of our favorite series. So are there more movies on the horizon? Keep reading to find out all we know about Descendants 5. Descendants 5 is on everyone's mind following the release of Descendants The Rise of Red on July 12, 2024. Whether a sequel will be made usually depends on factors like the success of the latest movie, fan interest, and the creative direction of the franchise. Fans are always eager for updates, so be sure to stay in the loop about any future Descendants movies by subscribing. Now, what has the Rise of Red cast said about Descendants 5? Kylie Cantrell and Malia Baker are ready for more Descendants movies. In an interview with J14, Kylie Cantrell and Malia Baker, who play Red and Chloe, express their enthusiasm for more movies in the beloved franchise. I'm down, Malia. Are you down? Kylie asked her co-star and Malia replied, I'm down. It's cool that even though it is a new story with new songs and characters, it still has that essence from the original films, Kylie said about the movie. There are lots of big numbers, lots of action, and the costumes are larger than life, so I love that we're bringing back that essence from the originals. The fourth Descendants movie also brought back an original cast member, China Ann McLean, who reprised her role as Uma in The Rise of Red, now returning as Oridon's newest principal. China was so welcoming and warm towards us, and I think she knew because we were such big fans of her. Kylie said about the Disney star sharing some of China's advice to her. She was just like, don't feel that pressure of feeling like we need to live up to something. As fans know, the Descendants movies starred China, Dove Cameron, Boo Boo Stewart, Sophia Carson, the late Cameron Boyce, Mitchell Hope, Anna Cathcart, Sarah Jeffrey, Melanie Paxson, Jedediah Goodacre, Dan Payne, Bobby Moynihan, Cheyenne Jackson, and more. And when the fifth movie gets made, most of the cast is expected to return. As for the story of the fifth movie, it's likely to continue from where Rise of Red left off. When Rise of Red was announced, a fifth movie was also mentioned. If you watched ROR, you probably caught Uma delivering the classic Descendants line, you didn't think that this was the end of the story, did you? Ten years after Descendants, Mal, Ben, Evie, and Jay leave Oridon, making Uma headmistress of Oridon Prep. Uma invites Princess Red, daughter of the Queen of Hearts, to join despite objections. In Wonderland, Red, longing for freedom, steals a time-traveling pocket watch from Maddox, son of the Mad Hatter. Meanwhile, Chloe Charming prepares for Oridon Prep, gifted with modern glass slippers. Red and her mother arrive in Oridon, where tensions escalate between their families and Cinderella's. The Queen of Hearts seizes control, pressuring Red to condemn Cinderella, dividing Oridon. Chloe tries to save her mother, but accidentally activates Maddox's time watch, sending her and Red back to Merlin Academy's past. They encounter teenage versions of the Queen of Hearts and Cinderella, learning about their history. Meeting VKs led by Uliana triggers a chain of events that shapes Bridget into the Queen of Hearts. Looking for answers, Red and Chloe visit Ella's house. Chloe is shocked to find it in shambles compared to her pristine home. They officially meet Ella, who lets them in only if they help with chores, as ordered by her stepmother, Lady Tremaine. They ask Ella why Bridget and Uliana are the way they are. Ella explains that Uliana feels she has to live up to her sister's reputation as a top villain and hates Bridget because she's so kind and just wants to be friends. When Red calls her mother weak, Ella responds that she's the strongest person she knows because of how hard she tries to be loved by everyone. Chloe mentions her slippers were a gift for good behavior, prompting Ella to ask if she really earned them, making both girls question their motives. While cleaning, Chloe accidentally breaks a vase, but Lady Tremaine blames Ella and forbids her from going to the upcoming castle coming dance, despite Chloe admitting it was her fault. Ella reluctantly complies. Chloe tells her it's unfair, and Ella shares how unfair her life has been since her parents died, treated poorly by her stepmother despite her kindness. 
This makes Chloe realize her mother had a very different life. The duo travels back to the Black Lagoon where the VKs hang out. They secretly follow them inside to figure out the big prank on Bridget, discovering it involves a spell from an enchanted cookbook meant to turn Bridget into a monster after eating a cursed cupcake. Perfect revenge. They decide to get the cookbook before the VKs can cast the spell. They visit Bridget, who is practicing a special dance for Castle Coming with a deck of cards, Shuffle of Love, and ask if she knows about the spell book, realizing it might be one of the banned books in Principal Merlin's office. While searching, they find Bridget's looking glass and see that the Queen of Hearts has captured King Charming and successfully beheaded Cinderella, leaving Chloe in despair. The girls argue about what to do with the information. Chloe wants to confess everything to Principal Merlin because it's the right thing to do, even if it exposes them, while Red resolves to steal the book before Uliana can and take it with them to stop the prank. Chloe tells her that stealing makes her no different than her mother, but Red retorts that doing the right thing led her mother to her demise, and she leaves to steal the book alone knowing she's bad. Later, Chloe, doubting herself, goes back to Ella's house for advice. Ella tells her that sometimes you need to get your hands dirty to do a lot of good and that people who know they're bad aren't actually that bad. Chloe begins to reflect on her own goodness while helping Ella clean her garden and get your hands dirty and resolves to help Red steal the book. Back at the academy, the VKs watch as Red sneaks into Merlin's office where she reunites with Chloe, who apologizes for what she said. Together, they search for the enchanted cookbook, but accidentally trigger a security protocol that causes swords to attack them, while an owl goes to warn Merlin. They fend off the swords, and Chloe throws her slippers at another owl before it flies off with the book, only for the VKs to enter and take it for themselves. When Uliana opens it, the book casts a spell on her, Maleficent, Hades, and Hook, freezing them in place due to their evil nature. Chloe then gives the book to Red, believing her to be the real hero. Red opens it and removes the recipe. They leave just as Merlin returns and blames the VKs for the destruction, giving them a year's worth of detention and preventing them from attending the dance and executing their prank. Well, that's it for today. Would you like to see more adventures focusing on characters from The Lion King? Or do you have another storyline in mind? Share your ideas in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates. Until next time, stay tuned and stay entertained.